Amanda McGinnis from Console to Closet. Uh, today's video is kind of a new thing for me. I'm going to be doing a makeup face-off against Katie from Geek and Sundry. So both of us received this mysterious box filled with espionage cosmetics. I'm very excited to see what it is. So let's open it up. There's the contents. Looks like I have a little bit of a letter here. Dearest Amanda. Oh, so sweet. Welcome to the Geek and Sundry Vlogs Espionage Mystery Box Challenge. Within this box, you'll find the following items. One container of lip serum in Kiss of Death. Four containers of mineral pigment in Oxidize, Josephine Baker, Sun and Stars, and Headshot. One package of Steampunk Nailed It Nail Art. Please create a unique look with these items as the main elements based on the following theme. Mean Machine. <laughs> In addition to the items above, you can also supplement the look with the following basic items. Foundation, concealer, basic powder, pencil liners in white, brown, right, white, red, brown, or black, fake eyelashes, and mascara. There are no additional rules to this challenge other than be creative. And just a hint to get you started, you don't need to use the items for what they are originally intended for. Hmm. Have fun, and thanks again to Espionage Cosmetics for donating the mystery box items, which are yours to keep. So I chose um, the Dwarven Machines from Skyrim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a look that is inspired by the Dwarven Machines in Skyrim. Um, I also want to include like some elements of Falmer, the, the elves that kind of tend them, I guess. Uh, so basically it's going to be really dark and robotic and awesome. Now I've already done my basic face makeup, so I'm going to probably just start with the eyeshadow. Okay, I'm going to start by just priming my eyelids from some color. So I like to use NYX's Milk. Uh, jumbo eye stick, and I just basically just plop it on there. So right now I'm using Sun and Stars. And I'm just gonna fill in under my crease. So once that's done, I'm just gonna blend it with another makeup brush. I want it to be really dark on the insides, and then on the outsides I'm going to do some other colors. So now I want to add some of the red into the crease line. So this color is Headshot actually, cool, so it's kind of like bloody, which is fun. Very sparkly, which I like. So start at the outside, and then just I just dot my way in, just along edges and now I find if I just sit like I normally do I'm, I have a better idea of how my eye shape is looking so I can blend from there see I went a little too high I just start a little bit on each eye and then add let's use a little bit of this dark color I can't use the nail wraps on my nails because they're disgusting. So I'm going to look at these steampunk nail wraps and try to think of something creative to do with them. There we go. That looks, that looks pretty stupid actually. There we go. So we got a little bit of gears going on. And you know what, we'll do one more. And I'm just going to use a little bit more of Sun and Stars on my lower lash. And we're going to do just a little bit of red. Now, I want to kind of do a little bit of an eyeliner, but I'm going to use actually the dark color. I'm going to use Josephine Baker. Okay, so we're going to just get it a little wet with water and dip it into the powder. And then we're gonna just line it. Okay. 
So I'm going to use the red one, the headshot, as a blush. Crazy enough. So I'm just going to put some on my paper towel. Got my big brush, blush brush. It's a little dark, but I kind of like it. So what should we do for the lips? We have this red color, which we could use. Headshot is getting the most use right now out of any of the colors. You know what? I kind of want to do a little bit of a contour. So I'm just going to put the glitter where I would usually highlight. Okay, I think this is my look. So what do you guys think? Do you think this looks like a dwarven machine from Skyrim? Or do I just look like a crazy person? Go check out Katie's video and let us know in the comments on who you think won this makeup challenge. I'm feeling it wasn't me. <laughs> Katie's so good! Just want to thank Espionage Cosmetics for sending me the lovely makeup and thanks to Geek and Sundry for orchestrating this challenge between Katie and I. Uh, it was a lot of fun to do. <laughs> Tune in next Friday for a gaming inspired outfit. Uh, inspired by a blue lady. Please subscribe and like this video if you think that I look cool. Thanks for watching. Bye.